Ooh, how in the heck are all y'all during? Came down to the river. Not gonna tell you what river we're in, but we're southeast of where we were last time. Preciously, uh, patiently awaiting darkness for the old smelt run. Got talked into giving away some of my smelt, so I gotta come back out here and get a, get a couple more. Well, Jakey boy's gotta go back to flying drones here in like a week. I'm gonna lose my uh, hunting and fishing buddy. Gotta stock him up on some smelt. You probably make some good money selling uh, smelt on the black market in Vegas, though. Nobody down here, which is either Dude, they probably wouldn't good or a bad thing. Um, apparently, we're in the, the honey hole, according to some local knowledge. You know, wait, a, wait a little gone. while here and uh, see what happens. Sandhill? Sandhill coming over. Oh, the he's in range. Oh my God, lock it. Take him. He's gonna poop on me. That was cool, dude. That's probably that's probably the closest I've been to a San Helen flight. I could have hit that one. You getting them, Jake? Nope. The end of the run, and we got all six of them. Whew. All right, I had to wait a little while, like an hour or so past dark. Got a couple. Going right <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, break time. Union mandated break. Woohoo! Got a four pack! Three pack, I can't count that high. I got, a, I got one five. It's amazing how fast you're not cold. Smelt fever. Oh, bag can. Yeah, don't do over. Three pack. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. My boots falling off. Should have tied my shoes. Oh! It's the most monotonous, enjoyable thing I've ever done. Yeah. Kind of like the old backhanded swings. A little different range. That's kind of nice. Well, it doesn't seem to take as much energy. Doing the rowing. Yeah. Cool. Roll, roll, roll your snout. Yeah. Throw them in the bucket. Well, there you go. Oh. Got a wall hanger. About one in the morning, calling her a day. I got a couple. Jake whooped my butt. Old man Johnny even got some. More than enough to clean, more than enough to eat. Probably gonna have to come back one more time. <laughs> now we're getting to the clean part of the catch, clean, cook, smelt, dipping, vidya. All you need for this, the handy dandy pair of snipper scissors and a heck of a lot of patience. Get a good angle. All right, got a decent sized one here for showing you. Pick this trip up from our charter captain buddy, Aaron. Now, some people cook them whole, head, guts, everything. Pretty disgusting in my opinion. I don't like to eat poop. You can cut the head off, slit the belly, flick the guts out with your finger. That works too, takes a little longer. Or, you take your scissors around the butthole region, make a little snip, like so. Run your fingers up through said snip to the base of the head. Snip, 
cut the head off or cut just be, cut just behind the head about halfway down I don't want it to be exact pull the head down break it free from the spine pull down as you can tell all of the guts and all of the poop comes out and that's all of the things you I personally don't want to eat then flick them in your clean handy dandy plastic bowl and uh, we rinse them all when we're done but well, this is the pretty monotonous part of the smelt cleaning. So more or less just cut that off, gut them, throw them in a bucket, wash them when you're done, throw them into the frying pan, which is soaking in dish soap as we speak. Now we're gonna clean about 150 more of these things real quick here and go to the cooking part of the video. All right, um, tips, chair, good level chair. I have some chairs, but if I sit, I sit way too low, so my shoulders get sore. Only complaint, back is sore. Pile of guts, pocket full of smelt. Not gonna film, I mean, rinse them out, rack up your water bill, run them, out, run them under the sink, rinse them out real good, and then we'll get to the frying pan. Going back to having no poop in the fish, I think washing them out might take longer than cleaning them. All worth it in the end. When you get to eat the tasty little buggers, just my kitchen, my house, my trailer, whatever you want to call it, is an absolute mess. That's all right, I had to straighten that up a little bit. Shore Lunch, Cajun, Shore Lunch, original. I think, I hope this is original. Beer batter. Son of a bugger. Oh well, well, it'll work. There's only two they had at the Larry's grocery store in the bustling town of Gwen. Don't have any beer. Believe it or not, yeah, I know, crazy, eh? We'll make it work. Usually I use Cajun's good, but I'm a kind of a pansy when it comes to spicy. I don't like super, super duper spicy things. So I'll just use my dulled smelt these scissors. Still sharp enough. Oh, now you're coming, Susan? What, you couldn't help me clean? Oh, she hears things open. Just gonna wing it. I mean, if you wanted to measure, you could. I roughly go for the half and half effect. You could do dry batter. You could probably do breadcrumbs. I do a lot of other fish with breadcrumbs, but breadcrumbs are a little more time consuming, so I like to pat them on, you know, like walleyes, pat them on there. Make sure they're good, and uh, you're usually frying a buttload of smell at one time. This probably isn't going to be enough. That's roughly half and half. Now, don't be afraid to put too much water, because you're going to have more batter. All right, find the fork. Shooty, what are you doing? You're gonna get smelt, don't worry. batter too terribly thick or else you end up with more batter than fish more or less smelt pancakes 
Um, might have got it right on the... Eh, probably going to need more water. Smells good. Smells good. Ooh, making a mess. Oh, I should be getting tip that I did not do. Sure, get your oil going hot while you're whipping up the batter. That way you don't have to wait for the oil to be hot. Big old bowl, probably. Hmm. I don't know. I probably had close to a gallon. Probably a little less. Half gallon, three quarter gallon. Going to put a hammer down on as many as we can. Take the towel to suck up the oil on the ones that are done. Waiting game for some hot oil now. For those of you who personally know me, I absolutely suck at cooking, but if there's one thing I can do, it's deep fry, so pan fry stuff. Don't have a deep fryer. We'll be getting a deep fryer. I can fry stuff. That's about uh, my only skills in the kitchen. And I can make a mean goose burrito now. All right, I got six smelt dropped into the batter. Batter is a little too thick, but we're gonna make her happen and adjust later after we get these smelt out of the batter. One thing I've learned is it's kind of hard to over fry a smelt. This batter's way too thick. We're gonna have some smelt cakes. Definitely hard to over fry a smelt. Um, keep your oil on a little cooler. You know, not too terribly hot. That way you don't burn your batter. And the longer you let these little fellers sit in the oil, the better chance you have of getting all the bones to completely, uh, completely dissolve out of them cook out of them however you want to put it. Another thing I've learned the hard way is, why is my light flickering? Um, when you don't just gob a bunch of them in there or else you end up with smelt waffle fries. And they all stick together. Oh, batter's not terrible actually. A little thicker than I want. little feller. Yeah, she's gonna be a little thick. Little thick. Give them like eh, three, four minutes, flip, three, four minutes. i turn that down a little bit actually. Yeah, the batter's already crispy on the bottom. She was a little too hot. And we're definitely gonna get some smelt pancakes on the first batch, but yeah, it's sticking together already. That's all right, there's only two of them. Last time, I, the first time I did this, I had like 15 of them all goobered together. And uh, it was smelt pancakes. Okay, even wait, wait, some a little, uh, little raw, just cause I'm excited to eat these burgers. Probably gonna cook up. 50 of these, hammer them down, edit this video. Obviously this is after the fact of me eating these, hammering them down and uh, editing the video, but I haven't eaten anything. I've been cleaning for what time is it now? Holy Christ, almost four o'clock. I started cleaning these bad lads at like one. <laughs> got up, got home at like two last night. Slept till like 10. Woke up, did some productive things. And start doing that. What is going on? Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Busted, Susie. Come here. Come here. Uh -huh. Come here, girl. Sit. Good girl. Oh, yeah, you like smell, don't you? Is that good? Oh, you gotta hide it. <laughs> what? You think I'm gonna give you another one? Huh? You're crazy. We'll call that one Dunskies. 
Well, I guess we'll call both of them Dunskis. Now, I didn't do it for this because I don't know where they went. Typically, I wear safety protective equipment, personal protective equipment in the form of safety glasses. You get some uh, hot oil to the peepers. It doesn't feel very good. Tongs are in the dishwasher. I'd be using tongs, but work will work. I definitely let them cool before you bite into an oil-filled smelt. Probably healthier ways to do this, but I got enough exercise getting these little buggers and cleaning these little buggers, so we're going to lose all those gains right now. Get some more in the oil, let those cool, and uh, give you a taste test. Got the batter consistency a little more, got a couple more going, but time for a taste test. GoPro's awfully, GoPro's awfully warm getting it close to the oil like that. As you can tell, a little more batter than I was hoping for. Perfect. No. No, Susan. Honest to God, best part by the tail. Tastes just like a potato chip. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Anywho, thank you guys. <clears throat> We're watching. I'm gonna probably put down like 40, 50 of these. Get back to some productive things. Going back out fishing tomorrow. If you guys don't have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, follow along on all of our adventures. If you'd like to go smelt dipping, let us know. We're not just going to tell you where we're going. You guys got to uh, tag along. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Anywho, happy adventures and stay safe.